Okay, so we're going to do a plantation update. This is what this is for Saturday, December 6, 2014. And the powder, so with the tomatoes, the powder you white, the, the whiteness you see on this is from that uh, pesticide dust. It keeps the dust, keeps the bugs from chewing on my leaves and so on like that. And I got to cut, trim down some of this brown unusable stuff for the tomato plants and I got spider webs here which is good which I see is a good thing because it keeps the spider the spiders will eat the other bugs or the bugs will get caught up in there the, unfortunately the powder probably kills the uh, spiders the spiders are actually beneficial creatures in this area actually there's one little tiny spider right there little itty bitty spider I don't know if that's a spider could be just a piece of dust. <laughs> so it's tiny. Anyway, that's what this is, the plantation update. And like I said, the powder is the uh, bug stuff. To keep the bugs from coming up. The dogs keep digging holes right here. It annoys me. And I gotta cut grass in this backyard today too. Uh, so anyway, as you can see some of the tomatoes are, are ripe. And some of the good ones up here. These ones fell down, fell off the plant before I was able to pick them. So I'm not going to be able to use these ones. They had the weeds constantly. So I don't know how long ago these these fell off. They actually look pretty good, but what we're going to do. So, let me pick some more tomatoes. These are the cherry tomatoes. Some that are going to be ready soon. They're a good patch. And I think tomatoes come up pretty good. We have a pretty good crop of tomatoes this year, as you can see. There's a good bunch of cherry tomatoes that are ready for picking. Harvesting for these ones. Cherry tomatoes! To keep the stem. Some people like the stem. Let's see what it makes it look, look fresher. Yeah, this one's not quite ripe. Maybe tomorrow I can pick this one. Get some over here that are ready. Here's one. That one looks ready for picking. I'm going to a good batch right here. Suspect. And some more over here. And this one looks good too. I can pick this one. Cherry tomatoes. This black was one of the coffee grinds I did one here yesterday. Coffee grounds landed right there, which is good because the coffee grounds could be good for a compost. There's some not white ones, put over there, playing around. Okay, these ones aren't quite ripe, right, not quite ripe to pick. I thought I saw another good red one over here somewhere. Back. I guess I already picked it. This one already picked. <laughs> this one's not ready. No batches and the coffee grinds hung up on it. They'll easily wash off. This plant hasn't yet produced good tomatoes yet. And this one looks like it might be ready. Yeah, it's a little not ripe yet. Oops, it just fell off. Hopefully some will eat it. Wait when it fall off. Sometimes you gotta watch these tomato plants because sometimes they'll fall. If you touch them, they'll come off easily. I don't want that to happen. So I guess that's a good harvest for the day. It is the black grey bush. It comes all the way over here. They're having problems with the white flies again. Look up for that 
black bay bush comes out. That's a good, I got a good 56, almost 100 feet worth of strands of this black bay, one little black bay bush I got from Lowe's last year. They were going really good. And Fritz is always in the plantation digging. It annoys me. No, he's not supposed to be there. Get out of the plantation, you! You just white. You have to keep the um, white flies from eating the leaves. They love to munch on these leaves. And you can see they devastated this one section. But the good thing is, I got new leaves growing on the stems and the vines, like right here. New stems here. So it's not too bad. It all makes up for it, but white flies are a pain. I hate white flies. You got a little stem coming up. A little stem coming up soon. It's necessary to replace the stems that these white flies eat. Anyway, I was really hoping I would have berries this year, but Looks like I'm not. Maybe it's another year. It says two years, but it's now going in the second year I've had this berry bush and no berries yet. So maybe we gotta wait till next year. This little white, that's the powder. From like the seven type powder. Here's the good vine. Mango bush. Now Winnie's in the plantation too, getting ready to pee on something. Mango trees. Bugs apparently biting this too. See what these markings that tells me that the bugs are eating it. Or it could also be in the cooler weather, it could be doing that too. Pineapple plant. I don't know if that's surviving, but I planted it. Who knows? More of the blackberry vine. This one is just wilted for whatever reason. It's doing good. And these dogs keep going in my plantation. I tell them, don't get in the plantation, and they still come in. And this mango tree is getting huge. I it was in a couple years, and I had some good mangoes. Oh, it's chasing a bee. So that's the plantation update for Saturday, December 6, 2014.